I lost 100% of my sight, 100% of my hearing, um, couldn't balance at all, couldn't even sit up straight. Um, the entire right side of my body was 100% numb, couldn't feel a thing. Um, so obviously scared to death, 18 year old kid. Um, I asked the doctor what was going on and we went and got an emergency CAT scan, MRI, um, and the results showed it was a cavernous malformation, which um, is a tangle of blood vessels um, that leaked blood and mine bled twice and over the span of three, four days. Um, so at that point, the only option to stay alive was to have emergency brainstem surgery. And I, I consulted with a few surgeons, uh, ended up going out to Phoenix, Arizona to have my surgery. Um, and it was March, March 16th, 2010. Um, and when I woke up from that surgery, it, my vision was blurry. Um, I really couldn't balance. My hearing was off. And still, the entire right side of the body was 100% numb. Um, but, you know, after that, I was determined to, to play again, to get back to the old Brian phone that everyone knew and I knew was in there. And, you know, I was, I was going to fight. I was. And through, through countless hours of physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, a lot of hard work, um, you know, I made it back. I, I, I got some real at bats in the Dominican, um, wearing that Red Sox jersey that I pretty much dreamt of wearing my whole life. Um, kind of a funny story, uh, the, the first set that I had, um, you know, I was wearing the whole face mask and no one wanted me to get hit. Um, and I think the second pitch I saw, I got hit in the back of the neck. <laughs> um, so that was, you know, it threw me right in there right away. Um, and so, so that was incredible. I was determined, you know, I said, if I can do this, I can, I can get back. I can get back to the Red Sox and eventually play at Fenway Park again. And that was the dream, that's always the dream. And I realized that that could be a reality. Um, fast forward here two or three weeks when I get a call, I do a checkup MRI here in Boston, uh, CAT scan, and I get a random call from my doctor and he said, he didn't say anything, wouldn't even let me respond. He said, Ryan, you gotta go out to Arizona right now to see the surgeon. And I, I had no idea because I felt great. I was playing golf every day. I was, I was training hard. I was feeling great. I was feeling like I was on the path back. Um, so I went out there and I had another MRI and CAT scan and it turns out, my brain stem had bled again. I mean, it, it grew back randomly out of nowhere um, and it bled and it was the size of a large raspberry. Um, and so you pretty much, you know, the only option there again, brain stem surgery. Um, so that, that was my second. Um, and after the surgery, I, my sensation was worse. I could feel anything. I could hear pretty much anything out of my, my right ear was 100% deaf. My left eye was 100% blind. Um, so, you know, the, at that point I said, you know what, I, I can't do this anymore. I have to retire. So I retired from pro baseball at 22 years old. Um, and so the next few weeks after that were without question the most challenging of my life. I, you know, I would, I would curl up on the couch and constantly ask myself, you know, why me? Why did this happen to a 21 year old kid? You know, you have this many surgeries and you're this young, why me? I, I thought about suicide. I really did multiple times. I, 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 you know, I would think to myself in bed, this is just a huge nightmare. Every day, it's just the worst day ever. And uh, part of me just wanted it all to end, wanted to just call it quits. Um, so, I, so I had those two options. One, end my life, you know, Take care of it right then, or to do everything that I could do to raise awareness and ensure that maybe one day um, no one has to go through what I did. And that's that's what brings me to the NGO Alliance. Um, it's fighting tirelessly, doing tireless research for a cure. Uh, right now, the only treatment and cure for these malformations is brain surgery. Uh, and 
like I said, I've, I've had two brain stem surgeries, but more importantly, I've, I've had 16 others. Um, and those 16 others are directly related to the initial brain stem surgery. So um, it's, it's, it's a battle. And, you know, I, I survived through a combination of my fight, my willpower, my willpower to live, um, and this giant support system I've had throughout the world, um, like the NGO Alliance, to help me feel like I'm not alone and, you know, it's, it's going to get better. It can get better. Um, I, I know this is a, a really, you know, a sad story, um, but, you know, on the bright side, I'm alive. I'm standing up without any help. Um, you know, I train now, I'm a coach, I coach baseball, um, and for the first time in a while, I'm truly happy. I really am. Um, so, the entry on lines, I mean, it's, it's, it's really important to me, and I, I think it should be to you all too, whether you've been affected or someone you know has been affected, um, because no one in the world, pro athlete, not 21 years old, 50 years old, any age, no one has, should have to go through what I had to do. Um, and uh, I can't talk enough about the NGO Alliance, uh, what it's done for me, what it's, what it's going to be doing for others. Um, and you know, I just, I just want to thank you guys for hearing my story and um, let me give it back to Chuck here and have a great day. Have a great day.